The atmosphere is hotter than the surface. Inside the sun, thermonuclear reactions occur at temperatures of about 15 million Kelvin. As we move outward toward the so-called surface, the temperature gradually drops to around 6,000 Kelvin in the photosphere, the visible layer of the sun. However, in the higher layers of the solar atmosphere, the temperature rises again, reaching up to 100,000 Kelvin. And in the outermost layer, the solar corona, the temperature can soar to about 1 million Kelvin. Why does this happen? Let's start from the inside. The photons and other particles produced by nuclear fusion travel through nearly two-thirds of the sun's radius, carrying heat that warms the lower layers of plasma. These hot layers rise, while the cooler upper layers sink, a process known as convection. Essentially, it's a kind of mixing motion, but this mixing of plasma also creates powerful magnetic fields, which in turn give rise to sunspots, prominences, loops, spicules, and other solar structures. These magnetic activities are responsible for heating the sun's atmosphere to much higher temperatures. The streams of plasma generated by turbulent magnetic fields during these convective movements can produce magnetohydrodynamic alphen waves, oscillations that propagate through the plasma at high speeds. These alphen waves rush into the solar corona, where they release their energy, heating it to extremely high temperatures. This process is only one of many hypotheses that might explain the extremely high temperature of the solar corona since scientists still don't fully understand all the details. However, for now, this explanation is likely and is supported by data from the Parker Solar Probe, 